Okay, so let's go ahead and zero mesh this guy. How much time we got? Uh, we got about 15 minutes left. So uh, I've got this guy ready to go. So what I'm going to do is go to Subtool, duplicate him. Then we can turn off his lines again. And if we want to, we're going to zero mesh this thing. We're going to keep our groups. I'm going to turn the smooth groups down just a bit. And then we'll do adapt to size down just a bit and target poly like polygon count of five. We have X turned on. So I'm going to go ahead and zero mesh him. And actually, I probably should clean up that polygroup over here and this polygroup right here as well. But we'll see how it does. Okay, so now we have these polygroups uh, controlling our surface topology, which is fine. And even at this point, you could go through here. Um, if you don't like the midline, which it gets a little bit weird up in here, uh, but what you can do is uh, just really quickly, I'm going to hold down Alt. Hold down Alt and Z Remesh, and that'll give you a new midline algorithm here. Oh, actually, that's not too bad either. All right, so let's hold down Alt and Z Remesh. So two algorithms down the middle of your face. Uh, Z, uh, remesh workflow of a complex shape. Um, that's just really boring. I would say you could set up polygroups and Z Remesh, or you could just decimate it down, um, which is, oh boy, that didn't work so hot. Let's do Z Remesh on this thing. No Alt. Um, but yeah, the reason why I wouldn't want to go, it's just boring. It's just like hand retopologizing a really complex shape or a bunch of polygroups and zero meshing or um, going into another program and using their topology tools like Maya or um, Topogun or Moro, Modo. They all have really good topology tools now. Um, what in the heck is going on here? Let me do merge stray groups here. Hold on. Polygroups. Uh, zero measure target count here. Let's turn that smooth groups down a little bit more. Maybe I should just turn that off. Or, you know, what I should probably do is go in manually and polish these polygroup borders. I'll try that in just a second because I don't want it getting caught up in like little squiggly areas trying to build that in, which it could sometimes do. So smoothing out your borders is probably a good idea. Yeah, let's do that. So again, we can go over here to our masking menu and you could mask your borders and then you could grow that mask just once here and then invert that let me see mask by borders x turned on oh sorry mask by groups we don't have any open borders duh um grow that mask invert that mask and then just do a quick uh, polish by features i'm going to do open circle just to maintain my forms a little bit better and now when we go here to zero measure Maybe it'll work better. Oh, complex shape from Fusion to ZBrush. Yeah, if we have enough time after this, I can. Um, again, I'll keep pimping my channel. Um, I do go back and forth in Fusion 360 to ZBrush in this one here. If you go down to um, working with imported objects, we go from Fusion to ZBrush and then ZBrush back into Fusion with a, uh, so we did like a little concept sculpt of a little piece and then we go and rebuild this stuff back in Fusion. There you can do so you can do um, sculpt bodies if you have nice perfect quads, or if you have something like this, you could just go back through here with your sketches and just recreate the shape with your sketches. So you can do concepting in ZBrush and throw it into Fusion for the final, or vice versa. It's kind of up to you and how you want to work. Okay, so if you want to clean up uh, some of this stuff, let's hit Control W on this one and Control W on this one, and that one worked okay. And let's see if we can do like half. There we go. That's good enough. And I'm going to go ahead and make these into one. Okay, so we have our polygroups here. And if we have our high res still showing, I'm just going to show his new Z remeshed head in this, this body here. We're going to go to project all, make sure everything's fine. Oh, his nose is getting a little bit crunchy. Let's see. Let me do a quick, uh, what am I looking for here? Close holes, mirror and weld, both of these. And you could also uh, manually retopologize. We did that if you go to, oh, there's, there's been a bunch of places we've done this. Um, off the top of my head, if you go to, because uh, we can clean up this topology fairly easily as well manually. Uh, you know what, we'll go through it too. But if you want to go back through, um, oops, it's not on this one. This would be on my channel here. Live stream full episodes. And I think there should be a giant anteater. Yeah. So on this giant anteater, 
what we do is just bring in this mesh and retopologize it. So that's another instance where we've done that. And like I said before, we've done that a bunch of times too. Um, but if you do have pretty good geometry, it's just a little borked in uh, one of your areas, what you can do is you can clone that off. And then you can go in here and you go to insert uh, Z-sphere. And then I'm just going to show the Z-sphere with original high-res topology. And then we're going to hit X to go across X symmetry. And then E to scale it down. So it's just out of the way. And then we're going to go to Dynamesh resolution down to zero, de density down to zero, edit topology. Oh, wait, we don't want to go to edit topology. We want to go down here to topology. And we want to go to select topology, grab our clone. And now we can edit this thing. Um, let's go ahead and control drag, control shift, tap to bring everything else back. Oh, and it looks like when we zero meshed, I forgot. Um, what you wanted to do before you zero mesh is project all. Um, so you could get that back and then zero mesh, but we'll fix that in a second. So I'm going to go matcap gray and turn off transparency here. And then we have X symmetry turned on. So when we go through here, we can just hold down Alt and then go through here. Oops. Edit topology. And then you can go through here and you can hold down Alt and you can just delete all this stuff here. And then you can just redraw it like so. Oops. There you go. For instance. So that's another way you can go through here and manually just kind of build up your geometry. But I did get some Bork geometry in there. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. And we're going to go back to our mesh here. And we're just going to undo back. So I can first, this is where we are. I'm going to do a quick project all. There we go. Get our forms back a little bit better. And even while it's having trouble in here, if you see any trouble spots, you can go through here and say, hey, let's do a quick um, close holes, mirror and weld. And you can ease some of the transitions in here. And you know what? That Boolean probably wasn't helping us. Um, I probably should have gone through there and dynameshed that. Because those are giving us some very, very harsh lines here. So let's go ahead and dynamesh that. Hit X to go across X symmetry here. And we'll turn on a fline. We'll smooth these transitions out. And then I'm just going to run a macro to do that whole polish by polygroup border there. And now we can just do a Z remesh, X turned on, half tap to size, keep groups. Good enough. Okay. So let's go ahead and um, again, I'm just going to do a quick project all. And then we'll go ahead and Z remesh this again. And I have half keep groups on. There we go. Much nicer. Um, and even some of this stuff I can go ahead and start cleaning up a little bit if I see any kind of, you can do the merge stray groups we've been talking about a lot. Um, so for instance, this little corner right here, let's see if merge stray groups will grab that one. There we go, it did. Let me go ahead and smooth that out a little bit. And then again, do a quick project all. Looking good so far, do your mesh half. Merge stray groups, perfect. Let's do another project all. Let's do your mesh half. All righty. I think we're about close. So I'm going to do another project all, and I think we're good to go. So now that we got this guy nice and polygrouped up so we can animate him, and we've got our details here, what we're going to basically do is let's go to back to mat cap here. We'll turn off polyframe. So we're going to do project all, and then control D, which is adding a subdivision over here under geometry, and then doing another project all. Control D, and you don't even need to see the other geometry, you can go into solo mode. You do need to have it turned on, but you don't need to sit there and look at it. And then we'll do another quick uh, project all. And even my high res source is what's causing this nastiness to happen in there, but we can fix that. And then Control D, project all. Give it a second. And now if we go back and forth between here, here's our original, here's our new one. The original is the exact same, so I'm gonna delete that one. And now we've got this one here. Uh, subdivision levels of one all the way up through four and we have all our detail back so now we're free to go back in here and start modifying this thing so preferences edit turn off a line cursor surface and then go through here and smooth this up a little bit and then subdivide it up one and smooth these nostrils out so yeah on the high res i should have gotten rid of that boolean or not gotten rid of it but like went through and modified it a bit so it didn't have that super sharp cut in here. Uh, possibly the same thing of a mouth, but I think we did smooth that out. There we go. So now we've got much nicer topology, and then we can go through and do um, blend shapes and stuff. 
Thanks for showing up. Oh, this is one thing I forgot to mention. Uh, just really quickly, one thing you can do if you wanted to do a more mechanical thing is I can duplicate this off. We'll go to like subdivision level of two. Uh, delete higher, delete lower, and then immediately you can go in here to our edge loops. We can throw some panel loops on here. So if we want to, we can say thickness up, and we can polish this up a lot if we want to. And we'll go to re elevation of negative 100. So there we go. We can start panel looping this guy out. So if you wanted to do some like um, what's that movie that just came out? I forget. But there you can do like a little mechanical robot in here. And even with this thing, you can go through here and we could even polish this even more if we go to polish by features. Uh, where are we at? Polish by features, open circle. We can just polish this down and start getting this stuff. And then you can drag your alphas and do all sorts of hard surface stuff in here. So a lot of really cool ways to go through here. And you can even do your live booleans in here. Whatever you want to do to start making this whatever you'd like. Oh, another thing I forgot to bring up is if we duplicate this and we go here, let's go up to three. There's also panel loop presets in the Z tool master. This is a uh, Chivang and Joseph Dress made this and you can go through here and you can say, what kind of panel loops do I want? Ooh, I want the one that kind of um, bumps out a little bit. So we can grab that one and then hit yes, select a preset, and that'll bump it out. It's like, well, it bumps out a little too much. So you can undo that, and then all these edge loop properties are set up, so where all you gotta do is just drag down that thickness and hit panel loops. And you can dial in exactly that hard surface look you're looking for. So, all sorts of cool stuff. Cool, thanks everybody.